awake? video I'm so glad you're here I have been like one busy overwhelmed mom <laughs> so I'm getting back on track this week last week I posted a video it was like a month and a half I haven't posted and so that was just like my getting back into it video and I wasn't gonna post one this week but I'm trying to be consistent I'm trying to be consistent to show up for you guys to show up for myself doing these videos do motivate me and kind of push me to do things better and I also want to practice what I preach you know so I might do like a day in the life or a few days in my life you know get more done in my house you know i do work from home now and so i've been struggling with that routine just a little bit i'm going to be doing a little bit of getting my life together while also um committing to the 75 soft challenge okay i have been consistently doing that last week i feel like i did a little too much exercise wise and i think because I'm working out six days a week because yes, on 75 soft, you get you have to work out six days a week for 45 minutes and you get one rest day. Now, the workouts don't have to be anything in particular, you know? The workouts are whatever you would like to do. And I think I kind of overdid it, like trying to like go hard, be consistent. And I'm just like, you know what? My body does not like this. This week, I'm approaching things a little bit differently. Also, my monthly friend came so i kind of had to slow down the pace um the beginning of the week but it's wednesday yeah today's wednesday and so now i'm kind of getting back into um just a little higher intensity stuff i guess i don't know um getting back into challenging myself um yesterday i did pilates which was great every day i aim for eight thousand to ten thousand steps a day um, I used to do 10,000 steps a day months, months before. Um, I wasn't working, so I was very, very active throughout the day. Now that I'm working, I'm sitting at the computer all day long. I have to be mindful of that. Like sometimes the whole morning could pass by and I'm like, I barely move. I have about 20 minutes until my daughter gets picked up. Everybody is chilling right now. Look, my daughter and son by the heater. <laughs> Um, I didn't want to wake up early. That's another thing. I was waking up so early last week, which was fine. But I think I was burning myself out so early in the morning. And I kind of like waking up just a little bit early, like I did today, to get myself together. Um, I don't always get dressed. I don't always do my hair so early. Or at all. <laughs> just to like read, drink my water. And I find that like that just helps me to slow things down, not rush, get my mind right. And I think it was really helpful because this weekend I was super overwhelmed and frustrated and I needed to calm down. Used to have each other's playlists. Core workout was done before the bus came, so I did 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna do about 25 minutes or so. I am gonna put a timer 45 minutes. I think I did over 20 minutes for core, but set my timer. I was gonna do 10 pound weights, but I said, you know what, Angie, we trying to do better. We trying to tone up these arms Me 
this is my breakfast. I had extra eggs on the side for my son. Also a little bit of butter and jelly, not too crazy. About an egg and a half. A little cutie. This new protein that I'm trying out, so a protein shake. It's low carb-ish. I'm gonna watch something on YouTube, have my breakfast, and then get my work day started. I'm on my lunch break. I literally ran upstairs. My son fell asleep on the sofa. And so I'm gonna do a quick cleaning. I'm gonna see what I can get done in the next 45 minutes. Um, I do have some food in the fridge. Like I have some leftover rice, some chicken. I also have some ground turkey. I maybe, maybe I'll make some tacos. Something real quick. So that's why I figured let me clean because I don't have to cook anything right now. How I do that, I'm going to put on my headphones. I just got these yesterday. Um, my AirPods. Okay, let me know if this has ever happened to you, if you have a pair of AirPods. So my kids are always messing with my AirPod case. I thrown into like the laundry or something and i did the laundry without knowing that the airpod was in there airpod got washed and initially it was working and now it doesn't work these are super cute i got them from amazon really comfy so i'm gonna put these on and i'm gonna use this time to listen to a podcast as one of my tasks for 75 soft challenge done i got to do what i needed to do and i got some tacos like i know it probably looks basic and dry but i'm, I'm basic good morning happy thursday i have my greens i take these greens not necessarily to increase my um veggie green intake but i take it mainly because it helps with like digestion and gut health and i literally feel so much better when i drink drink this i have <clears throat> i'm about 30 minutes before i have to clock in for work and i'm trying to figure out what to have for breakfast i read for about 10 minutes maybe a little over 10 minutes i what i do is i put a timer because i've been so terrible with reading i put a timer on my phone for 10 minutes and i legit sit there for 10 minutes without looking at my phone without getting interrupted like that's been working for me and i'm like so close to finishing the book so i'm super proud of myself for doing that so sometimes you gotta like give yourself little cues to like do a certain habit and that's been working for me definitely want to have more time to like do a devotional or read my bible more i have been really bad with that something that i'm struggling with on my faith journey i've been standing here for like 10 minutes trying to figure out what to have for breakfast i really don't know like a part of me wants to have a protein shake but a part of me wants carbs like heavily i'm hungry <laughs> i'm hungry today that's the thing about following the calorie deficit like sometimes like i'm following a calorie deficit and i'm tracking it i'm actually tracking almost everything that i eat like sometimes if it's like a super small amount of something like i don't track it just to make sure that i'm not like overeating tracking it just so i stay within the 1700 to 1800 range of calories because if i don't do anything different i'm not going to see different results i'm not going to get different results and for a long time i feel like i've been too comfortable like yeah i work out i try to eat healthy i do all these things but i slack off a lot and there's certain areas that i feel like i could be more disciplined in so that's why every week that i'm on this 75 soft challenge i am trying to see what can i do differently what can i implement differently that's going to help me you know i do want to try to go to the gym today because my husband's home and i'm like you know what i want to try to go to the gym like twice a week I have yet to go it's thursday <laughs> because i'm trying to figure out should i bring the kids with me should i wait till my husband's home i don't know also i put on these jeans that i really don't like 
and they're super big on my waist but it shows the progress that I've made since I had my son and these are the first pair of jeans I bought after having my son look how big my thing is they still fit the same here this this is my problem area and I'm hoping hoping to work on this you have to learn to celebrate all the little victories always celebrate yourself throughout your journey celebrate yourself for being consistent celebrate yourself for pushing yourself even if you don't see the results yet still celebrate that because you know you're putting in the work you are learning and growing and that's something that you should be excited about I decided on a protein shake just because I was taking too long to figure out what to eat. I don't feel like cooking and this is the new protein that I'm trying out. It's pretty good. I am currently on lunch break and I decided I'm going to do a quick leg workout. I am going to go to the gym later but I'm going to do some legs and today I plan on increasing my dumbbell weight to 20 pounds. I have been very comfortable between 10 and 15, more like 15 lately. And it's time to challenge myself. And I figured if I really wanted to get some cardio in today because I haven't really been doing cardio this week, I don't think it's a good idea to kill myself in the gym doing legs and then cardio right after. So I have a little snack. I had a meeting that I needed to be on camera for so I didn't get a chance to prep this in advance. So this is my snack, my pre-workout snack. Just a slice of toast with a tablespoon of peanut butter and half a banana and I just like to drizzle a little bit of honey on it. I don't know if you can see that. That is my snack. I'm also prepping my lunch because um, I didn't plan a, like I didn't have anything prepped but it's easy to make so I'm gonna have like some um, ground chicken meatballs and some pasta mm, blacking on my water is halfway full this is my first bottle shameful I'm going to make a pre-workout I'm running low on this you know, knowing what you want to do and using your time wisely is going to help. So my son is napping and he has a mess all over the living room. So I'm going to take this little spot in my living room to work out. I have my 20 pound dumbbells on the floor booty band because i'm just gonna do like a quick warm up <laughs> We used to have each other's playlists No, no we used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mind Yeah And maybe we could try it next week Again But I don't wanna think what's us but who cares? You said that we're over hands under. Um, I was rushing, but I got my 25 minute workout down like literally exactly 25 minutes. Some protein pasta for the sauce. I did like a um, marinara and cottage, cottage cheese. Thing. This is my second time trying it. It's really not bad. I don't like cottage cheese, but it works with the sauce. Then I made chicken meatballs in the air fryer. I'm gonna eat this real quick, chug the rest of my water, and then I will see you guys later at the gym. I 
I am back home at shower. I did some skincare. I feel so much better now. I'm using these Grace and Stella Collagen Boosting Eye Masks. So good. I love them. They're slipping on it because I put a face oil on. And I probably shouldn't have put it under my eyes, but whatever. So that's pretty much it for today's video. We're going to wrap it up. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go downstairs, have a snack, and edit this video. I just want to say that I do these videos for myself, but also for you guys. Like, I feel like I try to look for a lot of YouTubers that have a similar lifestyle to mine. Of course, I watch women that are young, single, no kids, and sharing their fitness journey and tips and things like that. But I don't see a lot of moms doing it. And I feel that it's so hard to find people that I can relate to and implement the things that I want to do or that I need to do to my lifestyle. So this is why I do these videos. I hope that if you're a mom, that you find my content relatable, that you find um, inspiration from my videos because what I'm showing is not easy. It takes a lot of effort to put, put yourself first, to prioritize your health, your mental health, and things like that. And, you know, having kids is a struggle, but it's not all bad. But it's so important that we take care of ourselves so that we can take care of our kids. And then, you know, everybody wins, right? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.